Here at the bus station in McAllen, there are hundreds of immigrants from Central America that have been released from Customs and Border Protection custody because they say there is no longer any space for them in detention centers. Right now, they've been given notice to appear before a court. However, some of them don't have dates. The system is absolutely broken. The immigration judges are, are, are not really able to handle uh, the, the backlog of cases. Alex Martinez is an immigration attorney in McAllen, Texas, and has hundreds of cases that might take years to process because of the backlog of immigration cases due to an influx in illegal crossings. We've seen uh, an increase of 350 percent of cases and the backlog. One woman who didn't want to go on camera says she wasn't given a court date at all. Instead, she was told Customs and Border Protection would mail her a court date and location. Ah, sí, voy a ir a la Orlando Rivera came from Guatemala with his 15-year-old son 18 days ago. He says he came to the States so his son could get a better education. His court date is set for April 2nd, but for now he's getting on a bus to California to stay with family. They go into the community and at one point uh, the government loses track of them because we don't count with the, we don't have the resources, we don't have the coordination or the organization to be able to track down all these thousands and thousands and thousands of individuals that are being released. Border Patrol says they have no choice but to let immigrants go because of a lack of holding space. The amount of people that are coming through this uh, sector is nonstop. Immigration Customs Enforcement, better known as ICE, says they've released approximately 108,000 families into the United States since December 21st. Numbers for 2018 and 2019 have not yet been released by the Department of Justice. However, in 2017, there were 40,579 people who did not show up to their court date. In all the time you've been an attorney, has this been the worst backlog? Yes, this absolutely has been the worst backlog. Border Patrol agents have already apprehended over 268,000 people in the Rio Grande Valley sector alone for this year. Reporting in McAllen, Texas, I'm Sydney Hernandez.